They own a piece of rich and legendary land. The vineyard has been worked for a thousand years. A village represents a very original and a very interesting part of Rioja. They are the followers and advocates of organic brewing. We wanted to work really with somebody that with a, with, a, with a very deep roots. They are the masters in wine, but still eager to learn. For us, living in the, the Basque country, it was very important the relationship with France. In fact, today we can say that the wine could be one of the only products in the planet that we maintain that uh, uh, knowledge that we have been passing from one generation to the other in the last 2,000 years. They are the poets and idealists in the wine world. Who are they and what kind of wine were they made? So uh, here the, you have the three wines that we are producing in, the, in Lanciego, in our vineyards. For us it's very important, there is the LZ, Lanzaga, and Altos Lanzaga. It represents our approach to the vineyard. This is the LZ, this is the young wine, Lanzaga is the second wine, and uh, Altos Lanzaga is the top wine. So it means that the different qualities of the vineyard. For us it's very important, and is why we decided to work in biodynamic in a very, in, in a, organic and in a very, very natural way, uh, way, because we think that the only way to produce good, natural, tasty wines is by doing a very good viticulture. And second important thing and for me is uh, fundamental is that those wines are completely natural and balanced. If there is one argument uh, in that vineyard of Rioja, is, is an argument that we don't need to have any sugar, any acidity. So we can say that the wines are coming straight from the vineyard. So then that means that the wines are balanced, the wines are healthy, and the wines are uh, as natural as the vineyard is when you work uh, properly. Telmo Rodriguez is one of the most celebrated Spanish winemakers. He has a family tradition in winemaking in the famed Ramiri estate in La Yoja. We are in a little village called Lanciego, that here the vineyards have been worked for a thousand years. We decided to come here because for me that uh, village represents a very original and a very interesting part of Rioja. Why? It's because exactly in that village there are the two climates of, uh, that they're going to give that character to that wine region. In uh, north of uh, Lanciego is, uh, is the Atlantic. We have all those storms coming from the sea that are going to give that fresh and its uh, Atlantic character to the wine. Exactly in that village, the olive trees that shows the, Medi the Mediterranean argument of Rioja arrived to that, to that village. So here we mix those two arguments that they are going to give one of the most uh, important and one of the most important uh, character to that wine region. Besides, Telmo has as well inherited the oldest Spanish grape variety, Tempranillo. Uh, we only work with traditional grapes. So here you have a, a typical uh, vineyard from Rioja. Um, so the, the shape of the vineyard is uh, very, um, well, it's, it's a very traditional, the bush vines. Here that soil, well, it's not the typical soil from that area of Rioja, but it's true that in all our winery and part of the vineyards, we have in that red soil that, well, maybe for us gave us an extra complexity to the, to the, to the grapes. Tempranillo, the most important grape in Spain, is also called Spain's answer to Cabernet Sauvignon. To get elegance and acidity out of Tempranillo, you need a cool climate. 
but to get higher sugar levels and thick skins that give deep color, you need heat. In Spain, these two opposites are best reconciled in the continental climate by high altitude of La Rioja. We are going to open the bottle of Altos de Lanzaga that maybe for me represents the, the best uh, quality and the most ancestral vineyard of, the, of Lanciego. Those vineyards for me are vineyards that they could be here uh, maybe 500 years ago. So I imagine that 500 years ago, the families of Lanciego, they were pruning and they were working those vineyards exactly in the same way that we work today. So they are vines that they are very, they are very mature. We have been doing the same gesture, and in fact, our our soul was to recuperate those gestures. So Altos de Lanzaga is produced with vineyards uh, that can be between 60 to 90 years old, that uh, again, never tractors have been working in those vineyards, only have been sprayed with natural products like sulfur or copper. And uh, really what, I, what we try to explain here is the the authentic and the most deep uh, taste of those, uh, of those vineyards of Lanciego. This wine has been, uh, has been aged for uh, 20 months in a big, big selection of the best uh, oaks from the best uh, forest of France. And, uh, and again, the, the only work that has been done in that wine has been the time, has been clean in a natural way, and has been put it in bottle uh, direct without with very, very little uh, sulfur. And uh, so really, I think this is the, we could be, as I said, you know, uh, tasting uh, uh, a wine of the past. Lanciago stands in your heart for centuries. The villagers have been living there for generations. The way they work in the vineyard is the same as it was hundreds of years ago. In every vineyard, the ancient sanctuarium is still well kept. These red houses are made of the local red soil to give shelter to farmers and horses against the storms in summer. In Telmo Zapini, it's part of the local wine culture and it's important for winemakers to know it and deliver it. So our winery is a very, it's, it's very, a very simple winery. As I said, inside we have been trying to reproduce a traditional winery from Rioja, a winery made by the was could be made in the 19th century or the 18th century. It's true that well, the, all the cellars have been built in uh, in, uh, in earth, because we wanted something natural where the wine was going to live. Outside, we did recuperate our cask because, well, it was, uh, we worked very hard and had to have a very, very good oak from the best forest in France. And then at the end, in order to give them more, more life or more utility, we decided to do that skin of, the, of our cask. So our, uh, the oak is going to be uh, aging our wines for a few years and then uh, the oak is going to be finishing as a skin protecting our fermentation cellar. Mm. Well, in the cellar, we try to continue with the same philosophy. If you see, all our cellars are made in earth, so no concrete, so we wanted to age our wines in a natural uh, environment. We cut the, uh, in that soil, we, we have a contact with the earth that we think is very, is very important. Here you see, well, this is not very usual to see today in, uh, in Rioja. Those food are big cask. They were very popular in the 18th century. So again, as a part of our philosophy, always we try to maintain uh, a link with the, with the tradition. So our second wine, Lanzaga, is aged 70% uh, in those big cask. The other cask are more the traditional 222 liter cask. And uh, well, here the, the wines, they will stay from 14 to 18 months uh, maturing, aging. 
and uh, without any fining and without any filtration, those wines, they, they will go to the, to the bottle. Altos is made of 100% tempranillo. The nose opens up straight away with dusty herbs, red berries, leather, lavender, and hints of animal. Modern in style with good structure in the mouth with nice balance. Intense, tart red cherry with cola and chocolate notes, followed by some tasty oak. The tannins are a bit hard to start with, they soften and become chalky and friendly with some air. For me, it's very important in, in every wine that I, that I open, that I like, is uh, more, than, more, um, more than a recipe to find all the taste of the landscape. In those wines of, uh, of Altos de Lanzaga, you can feel that mix, that mixture of uh, Atlantic profile, that mixture of the, the Mediterranean that will give you a tannin that is mature, is round, but in the same time, you have all the vivacity of the, of the storms of the Atlantic that they cross the mountain that we can see in front of our vineyard. For me, a wine is a landscape. For me, a wine is a way of uh, working. And uh, when you have all those elements that they are coming together, you got an exceptional product. And a product that is good, that is healthy, that gi will give you a lot, of, uh, a lot of pleasure. And I will give you that uh, I think that contact with the, with the tradition and that contact with the, well, more of the civilization, if you want, that they have been showing, showing us the best way to work the vineyards, to work, to work the wines. In fact, today we can say that the wine could be one of the only products in the planet that we maintain that uh, uh, knowledge that we have been passing from one generation to the other in the last 2,000 years. This is Altos, a perfect combination between nature and culture, a wine made in and for Spain. This is Lenciago, a legendary land with millennial vineyards and a unique climate. And this is Telmo, a winemaker dedicated to tradition and nature.